I mean, Ericsson is fully delighted to be here. Second year at LEAP. You know, last year was already a really resounding success, considering it was the actually first time this event took place. And now we see that the uh, number of attendees has more than doubled, which really goes to show how much this region and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is attracting, you know, a lot of investment, a lot of interest, because things are moving very, very fast. So, you know, it takes very short time from the time you start talking about demos and use cases until you find actually practical deployments for those in the kingdom and in the region. So we are super excited to be here. Yeah, I mean, we are of course focusing on how do you ensure that the technologies such as, you know, cloud-based software, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, how do you get them to really connect together and bring the best of those worlds? And the answer is 5G. That is the technology that will allow you to have huge bandwidth, but also probably even more important, very low latency, meaning the time it takes for the data to go from you know, the source to destination. This is what's going to enable real-time monitoring and control of a lot of the processes. So today in Ericsson, we are focusing a lot on industrial cases. How can you increase productivity in your manufacturing plants? How do you improve safety in your port or in your mining? So it's all about bringing in sustainable operations, getting more of what we see in today's industries and doing it in a way that is good for the environment and good for the bottom line. You know, when you look at mobile broadband per se, by end of 2024, it will have a coverage of 92% of the world's population. That kind of scale, you will not find in any other technology. And this gives us incredible uh, you know, advantages in terms of addressing and solving some of these issues. It could be economic issues, societal issues, or environmental issues. So if I start with the economical, there are many studies out there that demonstrate that when you bring in connectivity, and now for instance 5G in particular, you can actually add 1.1% growth to the GDP. Uh, when it comes to societal, we are always trying to mend the digital divide, and we do that through our what we call connect to learn, you know, approach, where we connect as many schools as possible in the world, so that we can offer them digital curriculum and digital understanding. So we have a population who is adept on how to do digital transformation. And when it comes to environmental and sustainability, we can see that. Any industry who can benefit from these technologies collaborating together to reduce waste. I'll give you an example. In our own factories in Ericsson, we are adopting these type of technologies. And we see, for instance, water usage itself went down by 75%. This is how we can support the environment. So that's how they come together. When you look at Vision 2030, it's all about diversification. It's all about also building a digital infrastructure, right? To enable everything that we discussed. And 5G is one of the cornerstones of such a digital infrastructure. Basically, anything that can be connected will be connected. And looking at the kingdom's ambitious projects and where they would like to go, I think 5G honestly will be the foundation to bring all of these technologies together and make sure that you have a full 24-7 real-time monitoring and control of everything that you're doing, being digital twins or physical systems.